Over the next few days, Ariel's luck did change. She found her lost necklace and discovered a sunken ship to explore, filled with all sorts of treasures. Sebastian continued to say it was all just coincidence. Wow, Flounder said. She sure is lucky to have all these coincidences. But what Ariel didn't know was that Ursula the sea witch had heard about her good fortune, and had discovered where she kept the lucky charm. A book's not a very safe place to keep such a valuable charm. Ursula sneered. You never know when a strong current might come up and wash that little clover out of the pages. One day, Ursula waited until the Little Mermaid and her friends were nowhere in sight, then entered the grotto. She swirled her tentacles around faster and faster. Until the pages of the book began to turn, the little clover rose with the current and landed between Flotsam and Jetsam, Ursula's evil pet eels. Ursula quickly scooped up the charm. Finders keepers, she said with an evil laugh. Right, boys. Ariel didn't notice the clover was missing until the next morning. Oh no! She cried. What am I going to do? Maybe it just fell on the floor or something. Flounder said. As they started to look, Ariel knocked over her goblet, breaking it into little pieces. Now look what happened! Without my lucky charm. I'll have nothing but bad luck forever.